Hi, welcome to Ares Gaming. We have now a new unit in Artery Gear Fusion, we have Meredith a tactical type blue unit. She is an octopus like waifu, is she worth pulling? Let's find out. First we will do a summoning session of her, I personally dig tentacles on my hen. Never mind that. There you go, I almost quit on that session after Meredith sucking all of my 60 red tickets. I had to spend crystals to get her, for a total of 710 pulls. An average session, I was expecting to get her around 510 pulls, but luck is not on my side. Let's check her design. Her design is really good especially if you are into aquatic creatures, like mermaids. As I said she is an octopus like waifu, although I think she only has 6 tentacles compared to 8 tentacles of an octopus. I give her a passing grade in terms of design, this is subjective because those tentacles will be a hit or miss depending on the person. Let's check her skill set. Her basic attack is called perplexing tentacles. Attacks a single enemy with a 40% chance to inflict skill interference last for one turn. If own HP is under 50%, Enhance the skill and raise the chance of skill interference up to 70%. Reduces the cooldown of Law of Abyss by one turn. When Perplexing Tentacles is cast not during own turn, raise her own move bar by 10%. This is a great skill, this is basically an attack that can put silence on the enemy. Her second skill is called Disillusionment, this is a passive skill. At the beginning of battle when own turn ends, enter bubble form. At the end of enemy's turn, if own HP is below 50%, remove 2 debuffs and gain stealth, lasts for 2 turns. 
This effect can be triggered for once in one turn. So what is this bubble form? Bubble form, will not die during the duration, if own HP falls to 1 after attack, lift bubble form and recover 20% own HP. Then launch an additional basic attack. This is the most useful skill on her arsenal, when in bubble form she will not die and will recover her HP. She will also do a basic attack and gain stealth. You must hit her twice consecutively to kill her, but that stealth will make her not targetable by single target attacks. Even if you hit her with an AoE attack she takes 50% less damage because of that stealth buff. This skill will make her very hard to kill in PvP scenarios. Her ultimate skill is called Law of Abyss. Attack all enemies, prolong all skills cooldown of one random enemy for one turn. Can be triggered three times, with 70% chance each. Causes feeble on all targets for two rounds. This is an AoE attack that can prolong the cooldown of enemies skill. This can also cause feeble, which is a buff block to all enemies. I find this skill average if used in PvE, but above average in PvP. Those buff blocks and cooldown reduction might not be effective in bosses, but it can definitely disrupt other teams in PvP. Now this might make you think that she is a PvP oriented unit, but honestly I am not sure. She will be hard to kill, but since she is a tactical unit it will be hard for her to kill anybody as well. Those debuffs are very disruptive in PvP, especially the skill interference or silence on her basic attack. But still I don't think it will be enough to turn the tide of battle in your favor. You will still need a good assault unit to help Meredith out in PvP. A well-built Sirius will still pose a problem for Meredith. On PvE scenarios again those skill interference and feeble might not be that effective against bosses, so there is that. Overall I will still rate her an above average unit, that bubble form is a good and unique skill that makes her a cut above the rest. Her gear recommendation will be speed set and accuracy set, of course you can go be creative and experiment yourselves. But the idea of this set is to dish out her basic attack as fast as she could, to inflict silence. The accuracy set is there obviously for her to be able to inflict her debuffs more effectively. I will definitely recommend pulling for her especially if you like tentacles and stuffs like that. Good luck on your pulls and don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.